Good morning, class. Welcome back. Today, we're going to talk about money. Money is changing. To be honest, no one's quite sure anymore what money really is. Everyone spends all their time working for money. But money on its own isn't useful. You can't eat it. You can't build a house out of it. Its only utility, really, is exchanging it for the things that truly have value, which are goods and services. Everything else is just accounting. So if you go back to the like beginning of civilization, there was no money. People who wanted to buy and sell things had to use barter. Money doesn't really have intrinsic value. Gold isn't particularly strong, it's not very good at conducting electricity, but it's scarce and it's beautiful. And so we've given it value as a society. Money is not what a lot of people think it is. A lot of people, when they think about money, they think of, oh, this thing that has value. Pieces of paper, like a $20 bill, that doesn't have any value. We used to be on the gold standard, so a US dollar was redeemable for an ounce of gold. That changed long ago. Its only value is by decree. Someone said it has value. Our made-up imaginary internet money is better than the government's made-up imaginary internet money. Both of them are only backed by the, the shared fiction of the humans believing that they have value. So in 2008, I think the history of money changed forever. That was when the Bitcoin white paper was published on the internet. It is the peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash. It is money without governments, and it is money without banks. It seems crazy to think that our economy is moving online, but our money would not be. This is the paradigm shift of our generation. Richard Hart, fraudster or not? Are you ready to look for some fraud this morning? This account is yes. $10 million. Yes. $10 million crypto dollars? Ten, it, 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 the value is in USD. This doesn't sound believable. I'm nosy, so I'm intrigued by other people's business. I mean, Rolexes and Ferraris and, you know, okay. But what are you about? What are you about without those assets? Oh, I got the world's biggest diamond. I always forget that. That's funny. <laughs> I don't know the world's biggest diamond. You don't. I do. Cool, huh? When we went outside to do the photo, they were really like, Richard, Richard, Richard. And I'm like, oh, that's cool, you know. How's it going out there, everybody? Welcome, welcome, everybody. So who here is uh, a hexagon? Any hexagons here? Uh, how high do you think hex uh, will ever uh, come? I look at the chart and I see that it just goes up and to the right, yeah. but it's not curving down. It's going up and to the right and then curving up as well. We are in the highest appreciating asset class in the world and we are in the best version of all these assets. Like, so I, I believe that it can do numbers that feel weird saying them. No, but, but just, I'll, I'll, you know, I, you know I, I think you've been lucky. Let me tell you how many times I've been lucky. My first business was a car stereo store out of my front yard. Hired my friends. It was fine. My next business was search engine optimization, get people first on Google. I've been a serial entrepreneur killing it for decades. About 150 employees, done 60 million year turnover. You name it, I've done it. And I just keep winning, winning, winning over and over and over and over again. I'm a serial winner. I was like yelling at the top of my, like standing in my chair. Fuck this guy. Yeah, this guy is fucking, what? Who does this guy think he is? I was upset. You know, I saw, so I straight up blocked him. My first hearing of Bitcoin, I was on a forum. They said, hey, if you turn on your graphics card, well, you're not playing games. You make about three, four bucks a day. Just out of nowhere, I've got, you know, in 10 days, I got 30 bucks in my wallet or whatever of these coins. And I'm like, what is going on here? You know, this is crazy. I was immediately hooked. So next thing I know, I've got three graphics cards and two different computers running in my room. This is, there's something here. I wrote up a business plan. I was driven, so I didn't stop there. So I found two friends of mine and I was like, let's build a business together. Like, let's work out a deal. And he, very blase in his way, was like, oh, is half a million enough? And I was like, indeed it is, sir. Indeed it is. Go ahead. 
My question is very short. So are you, sir. So are you. <laughs> if I have 10,000 hex, okay. how long time take me to be rich? Uh, the problem is you mix a cult and money, finance and investing, and I think things get even worse because you're basically convincing people to put their trust in you. They start doing whatever you say, and you say, bye, 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 hold, hold, hold. And pretty soon you've got a whole community working together. But as soon as someone steps back and says, wait a second, what are we all doing here? What is this thing that we're investing in? Then people are gonna start peeling off, and suddenly the cult starts to get a little shaky. The cult leader is gonna yell louder and louder, try and amp them up more and more. But all it takes is a few people waking up where other people are gonna start following them and suddenly the cult breaks down and you know, those stories never end well. Scam. <laughs> is Hex a scam? Richard explained it a lot of times on stream why it, it, it isn't a scam or a Ponzi scheme or a pyramid or, or something like that. So you're saying Richard told me that the thing he made is in scam, therefore it's not a scam? Is Hex a scam? <laughs> scam. Yeah, that's a ridiculous idea. It's one of those things, one of those words that's difficult to shake off. No, no, this is, this is definitely not a scam. This is the closest thing that you could call a Ponzi scheme. So go show me the person that's been scammed. All promises are met. Why it's scum? One article entitled Richard Hart's Hex Token is a brilliant scam. There's, there's got to be something deep down on why. Why you're why you're saying this? Sorry, Richard. This is the dumbest fucking thing I've ever heard in my entire life. I don't like the way he acts. He richer and has more bigger dick than me. <laughs> not fair. He's just not a scam artist. These are the people that call Bitcoin a scam when Bitcoin was ten cents. So you're only gonna miss out. You've conned people into taking a worthless currency that you create for nothing. I want my kids to be able to do whatever they want in life and so many people get caught up in the rat race. I want to do whatever I can to preemptively steer them away from that. If he calls, you can talk to him about life, his wife, his kids, whatever. I don't care, but we're not doing this. Like, we are not getting into this. I'm pretty sure I laughed, like, because I'd heard my kids even talk about Bitcoin. Do you know how your air conditioner works? Like, it gives you cold air. Like, we, we, we don't necessarily know how something works. I don't know how it all works either, but I know that it will work. People are buying computer money with their real money and thinking that they're going to get rich someday. What a joke. I put it all in. I put, I mean, I went. Like all what? <laughs> all of our house money, most of it. I, I mean, I, I did like 100,000. You've been studying the activities of, of the hex on the blockchain, right? Why wouldn't you invest in it? All right, so I've told you from the day one, like the main thing I don't like about it is it does nothing. Well, I had to like, take that back. Yes, it does do something. It makes people money. I, I don't think that hex is a Ponzi scheme, but Ponzi schemes also make people money until they don't. I just don't see the value. Like, I am a finance professional. What I look for is value. What is the value? Does it money thing? bring you value? You mean to tell me that if you I, if you said, if I asked you, Lamont, can I borrow $150? And you said, sure, Kelly, I'll give you $150. And I bought Hex with it and then told you in two years, you know that $150 loan? I turned it into $40,000 and I'm giving it to you. Would you say to me, Kelly, I'm principled. I'm a finance professional. I'm not going to take the money. Is that what you would say to me? I'm not sure I would turn that down. Okay. So this is something called the hex audit. It just goes into what's happening with EOA. What's really interesting is when you dig into the OA, I think it exposed a lot of things that 
should be known about Hex, but I don't think most Hexicans wanted people to know about Hex. Richard is an, is an interesting guy. The first time I saw him, he was wearing a top hat. I'll tell you a little something about money. You know, I, I kind of think of Richard Hart as like the Donald Trump of crypto. You can't look away. <laughs> one word. One word, okay, here we go, ready? In one word. In one word. Who is Richard Hart? Just one word. God. Messiah. Legendary. Hero. Master. The benevolent king. I don't want to say God because everyone's going to say God. Winner. Genius. Savior. Whether you like him or you don't, he is genuine. Quarter million. Quarter million. Hate me. Hate me. I'm farther than you'll ever be in your whole life. Quarter million. Money is not what a lot of people think it is. A lot of people, when they think about money, they think of, oh, this thing that has value. Pieces of paper, like a $20 bill, that doesn't have any value. To be honest, no one's quite sure anymore what money really is. So Hex, they like to say it's the first certificate of deposit built on a blockchain. Yeah. That seems like a big deal, right? That, that's right. So then you go to their like website, it. you read that, and you're like, again, that sounds compelling. I mean, investors I talk to, they're like, oh yeah, I heard about Hex. Like, we're not gonna touch that. Yeah. And, and sometimes it's not the due diligence, it's not the research, it's just the optics and perception. Hex, in one sentence, what is Hex? The best crypto asset in the world. Uh, cryptocurrency, put it away for a period of time and it basically multiplies. So instead of offering the 2% you get, when you put your money into a savings account, with Hex you can get APY of up to 40%. The longer you stake, you lock in your coins, the more interest you earn. Which pays the most incredible rate of interest I've ever come across. Around about 40% APY. You can just stake your Hex and enjoy the gains. Hex is freedom. There's no other word for it. This is the best potential in the entire world. If you get this right, you never have to work again a day in your life. If you get it wrong, you lose everything. Okay, next card. A lot of us are panicking. A lot of the guys that I worked out there hard with are sitting in a place and they're uneasy and they don't know what they're gonna do and their 401ks look like 104ks. Okay, let's see what we got here. Like Christmas, huh? Yay! Tricomb hat. That's where we're at. What's gonna fix that? People should be learning about what cryptocurrencies can do for money. Because if you fix the money, you fix the world. So today, I look at crypto as being the modern day equivalent to the pirating because we're about to start taking it back from the banks. Ahoy, crypto pirates! I am the captain of RG3. Look at this. Woo! First day of class. I don't know what crypto is. What do you tell me? It's, it's money that you can literally create. Now what some people don't understand is that the Fed also has this power. The Fed literally prints dollars. Sure. So central banks have this power, but in the world of crypto, anyone, anyone has this power. So, okay, money with no physical presence. Yes. Second red flag. All cryptocurrency is, is it's an Excel spreadsheet on the internet where you need your password to spend your money. What if I told you Bitcoin is code? Do you trust people or do you trust code? I don't know, I'm, just, I'm gonna say it's compelling. That's what you keep saying. Yes, people, the right people who are honest and true and do a good job, mm -hmm. I'm gonna put my money with them, but people are fallible. People can be corrupted. People can make 
bad decisions.